Franco Cavallari coming to you from the gym. Give you a little tidbit on the microbiome. Setting up a podcast series, speaking to much of the research we see in the field, uh, coupled to the research we have done at Biologic on butyrate. You've seen a lot of work we've done on butyrate, the short chain fatty acid. And that short chain fatty acid is manufactured endogenously in all of us by the microbiome, probiotic culture in the large intestine. Now, what's important about butyrate is that it's a biochemical that enters the body and works with your system at many levels to support behavior, mood, cognition, insulin function, to support immunity, to improve appetite. This is why we've been working with butyrate to complex it to different compounds that activate thermogenic activity. On its own, butyrate doesn't have very much thermogenic activity, but does a lot of things. How does it do these things? This is interesting. Because most people are really concerned about the microbiome or the probiotic culture in our gut. It is critically important to maintain it. And chemicals, diet can interfere with it. Stress actually damages the microbiome. So lack of fiber in our food prevents the microbiome from proliferating. But that butyrate is actually, again, made by the probiotic culture and creates a pH and environment in the large intestine that voids pathogens, but creates the environment for the probiotic culture to proliferate. I'm going to talk about how the probiotic supplements work. They're not really inoculating your gut the way you think they are. They're doing other things creating signals, enhancing butyrate activity so that the environment, the pH of the gastrointestinal tract of the large intestine in particular is conducive to the friendly gut microbiome growing and creating the health benefits that you experience. That's why I focused on butyrate, the initializing factor, the impetus that caused me to research butyrate to the extent that we do today was ulcerative colitis because that's what took me out of the bodybuilding realm in 1992. And since then, I've been able to manifest recovery and, and remission and keep my health in order, but butyrate central to that. And butyrate keeps you lean and butyrate keeps you motivated and butyrate keeps you out of diabetes. I'm going to talk about some of the experiments where we've seen the inoculation of um, people who have failed to restore and maintain health in terms of diabetes and fecal transplants from people who are thin begin to initialize a thinness and healthy predisposition in them and vice versa. People who have obesity and diabetes transplanting the fecal matter into a healthy animal, for instance, with mice studies results in the healthy animals becoming ill with diabetes and obesity. We're going to talk about that microbiome, but Take care of the microbiome by eating a lot of soluble fiber, inulin is one, and taking probiotics regularly to initialize the gastrointestinal flora and protecting the gastrointestinal flora. Polyphenols from plants, from supplements, resveratrol, curcumin, all these things indirectly support health through the microbiome.